Hello, Merv Doherty here, Superintendent of Schools for Chesterfield County. Thanks for joining us today as we continue to talk to our department leaders uh, on different things that are going on in our school district as we prepare for the 2021-22 school year. Uh, it's a privilege for me to have uh, our Chief Operations Officer, Josh Davis, with us today. Josh, thanks for joining us. Thank you, sir. And we're going to just, this is a, these are always very brief videos, but information that we think our, our parents and our students and community need to hear. So, uh, first of all, how is your team prepared for this coming school year? Well, we have multiple teams in the operations department. We have the facilities team, which includes custodial services and maintenance services. We have our pupil transportation team, which is preparing school buses and routes for the summer. And uh, we have a construction team. We also have safety and security and planning teams. So it's a very wide operation. But let's get a little more specific. The facilities team, we want our buildings to be clean and ready for students. And so every summer we take the opportunity to strip every floor, get it waxed, shiny, and ready for students really looking good. And they're going to be there. They've made a lot of progress already this summer, and I'm confident they'll be ready for all of our students on August 23rd. Uh, the transportation team's working hard to develop uh, routes for all of our students that are coming back. We're delighted that so many students are coming back face to face. We've got seats on the buses, and we're also working hard um, to recruit, and we'll talk about that a little bit later. Um, one of the other big things that's taking place is though we're continuing to uh, construct new buildings and do major maintenance on those systems that need to be replaced as they get to the end of their life cycles. So a lot of action in the summer, even though the schools are closed and we don't have as many students, but uh, great opportunities for us to be ready for the start of the school year. Fantastic. Uh, so what cleaning actions or physical changes will remain in our schools post pandemic? That's a fine question because I think folks want to know. We worked really hard. Uh, we learned so much about PPE and indoor air quality, but cleaning was at the top of the list. And, and really everybody participated. We talk about the custodians, but our teachers and even our students sometimes had to use some wipes to wipe down the desk. A couple of those things might be done uh, in a slightly diminished manner, but we're going to have hand sanitizer in all the stations. We're going to ensure that our bathrooms are clean multiple times a day. It's going to be a very clean environment. And also, the, the parents and, and, and students and community members are, as you mentioned, the sanitizer, hand sanitizer stations are up. Uh, the opportunity for us to have air quality uh, at a really high efficient level in our schools and even in the classrooms. Uh, looking at all the aspects of what we learned from the pandemic and learning from what the CDC and the Virginia Health Department has also advised us to do as we go and continue this process of this coming school year. Yeah, we've huh? done very well at improving our indoor air quality through a variety of initiatives. Some things we were already doing, like the inspection of the cooling towers, and ensuring that the bacteria are no longer present. But uh, we've bought air purifiers for many of our schools uh, that did not quite meet the standards that ASHRAE has in place for a new building today. So we've done everything we can to have our older buildings perform and have the indoor air quality that our new buildings should have. And that's going to remain in place. We're going to continue those investments. We also uh, improved our filters. We remember the term MERV 13. Well, we got to MERV 13. We're doing preventive maintenance four times a year on all those systems, ensuring that those filters are changed out and repairing systems when we need to. Fantastic. So every time you get ready to start a school year, it's transportation, school buses, and uh, you know, I think everybody in the country uh, is concerned about uh, the school buses, but I'd like to talk about, one, what we're doing to improve our transportation system with the GPS and the tablets, and then talk about what we're doing trying to recruit drivers. Absolutely. Uh, uh, Chesterfield has invested in our transportation system, and I, I really, really appreciate that. Um, our GPS system, we've been able to follow our buses in our offices for some time, but a couple of years ago we fielded an app called MyStop, and I would encourage parents to, to get that app so you can watch the progress of your child's bus on the way to your bus stop in the morning and also in the afternoon when they're headed back home. We hope to stay to schedule, but that app will let you know if we aren't. Um, but the other neat thing that we've done is our drivers now have tablets. Um, they do, will not have to carry as much papers along the way, and they can move quickly. If their area office asks them to cover and substitute for another driver, that route will be sent to them via that tablet, 
and, and they will get turn by turn directions, just like you do in your personal car when you're moving somewhere. Our bus drivers will have that, whether it's a field trip to a new place or, or doing a new bus route as a substitute. So all that's very exciting, but again, you talked about the people. You know, education's a people business and transportation certainly is too. Uh, we want to deliver those children safely, as effectively as possible, and we need strong, wonderful community servants behind the wheel. Uh, we have hundreds of bus drivers and uh, we, we could use some more and uh, we want to keep on schedule and we have actually had a couple of job fairs this summer that have been successful, but we will continue to hire whether someone wants to be a full-time bus driver or even a substitute driver that maybe does athletic trips and so forth. Everybody would have a role whether you want to work full-time or part-time as a driver and uh, look forward to those opportunities. Go online, apply online. We will train folks that don't have CDLs. Uh, to earn that CDL and put them behind the seat of a bus and work with our children every day. Thank you. And just to uh, review this again, uh, we usually uh, need roughly a little over 500 drivers uh, to make sure we meet all the needs of our schools. And just like every other business in this country, we are short staff in this area. And we're going to ask our parents again to drive their children to school and pick them up from school. Uh, but uh, for those who cannot, we will make sure that our buses are either running on time, running ahead of schedule, or running on the second tier. But just we want to tell you now that uh, this is a major issue for us. Uh, we have the technology for our routes. We have technology for our drivers. Uh, we have outstanding bus drivers. Uh, we have done a lot to help them with their compensation of salary. But again, there's just a shortage of people in this country right now uh, as you look at all avenues of jobs and bus driver is one of them. If you know someone who'd like to be a driver, please contact us. Uh, and uh, we are working diligently to fill these positions immediately and knowing that we're going to need parent support again as we did last year to make sure that our students get to school on time. We're going to need parents to drive their students to school. Um, so uh, Josh, uh, we've invested a great deal of funding into uh, our school system in new buildings and rebuilds. Could you like to talk about that for a second? I'm very proud of our record. Uh, we've opened nine new schools in the last three years, uh, most of which were replacement schools, schools that were old and worn out and really needed to be replaced to give uh, the 21st century learning and the proper spaces. So I could rattle them all off. Uh, I believe Enon and Beulah and Crestwood and Reams Road and Harrogate and Matoica Elementary. And we're getting ready to, Ettrick will be done by the time folks see this. Mm -hmm. And we're building a school out in the Western Corridor, Mosley Elementary School. Mm -hmm. And uh, so thanks to the county for, and our citizens for funding those efforts. And we're, we're looking forward to the future. We have a plan in place to continue to replace schools and to build new capacity. We need more capacity at the middle school level. I'm confident that Dr. Doherty and our county leaders will find the funding that we need to, to put these buildings in place. But I'm so proud of our construction team, our contractors that have done these jobs for us. And uh, Chesterfield's growing. We need better buildings, more buildings, and, and we're well on the way. We've done great, and we're going to continue along the same path. And along those lines, we have uh, opened up the Chester Early Childhood Learning Center by taking the old Harrogate Elementary School the county gave it back to us and in a partnership with the county we've opened up a three and four year old program which could house over up to up to 400 students which allows us to have more capacity in 12 of our schools as the uh, enrollments grow there as well so we're excited about uh, this new facility and the opportunity for our children to get ahead of the game of learning and reading and in math and social skills as they even before they enter the uh, kindergarten level. That's an exciting facility and we've set some high academic goals and I, I was just uh, blessed to be on the team to, to help renovate that building and if you haven't been there, t bring your child by and, and sign up. We, right. We've got a spot for you if you're in the Bermuda district. Well, Josh, I want to thank you for taking the time. I know how busy this time of year is for you. I want to thank you for joining us today. The school year is right around the corner. We're looking forward to an exciting school year in 21-22. Thanks for being part of uh, Team Chesterfield, and we hope to see you in our schools, volunteering, helping our students, and uh, we will talk to you soon. Thank you. Thank you.